Uh, I'm a radio guy, as you've just heard. Um, I used to be young. Uh, this is a picture of me being young uh, back in the early 90s. Um, I've worked for a radio station that, if it still existed, would have been celebrating its 20th birthday today, uh, the original Virgin Radio out of London, where I looked after their website and their uh, online uh, strategy. Um, and I've also worked for a small broadcaster that probably not very many of you will have heard of. It's called the BBC. It's a uh, broadcast uh, out of the UK. Um, and I worked on uh, re-engineering what they did in terms of uh, audio uh, online. And today I'm um, going to quickly talk uh, to you about how multi-platform radio transforms radio's revenues. It takes the ingredients of great revenue and it roasts it to make it even better at earning money. Um, first though, I'd just like to say what the future is. We're already in the future. Radio is a multi-platform future. In the UK, less than two-thirds of all radio listened to is on AM, FM. The rest of radio listened to is through other platforms. And if you think that's a peculiarly British thing, it's not. Change is happening all over the place. In Germany, in Norway, in Belgium, in Switzerland, and so on. Change is happening here in Ireland as well. The growth of the internet and the launch of services here like Spotify at the end of last year. The addition of radio to serve you. Radio through the internet is still a bigger platform in the UK than internet radio. So if you think that the internet is our only future, then you're wrong. And other ways of broadcasting and receiving radio are on their way too, from smartphones and other technologies. And I thought I'd show you how to capitalize on those changes and see some ways that broadcasters around the world have realized that more platforms mean more revenue. First, obviously, more platforms means more choice in terms of radio. Choice for the audience and choice for you, the broadcasters. Radio stations across the world have added additional services that build their brand and attract more listeners. Now, this looks a moderately expensive strategy. Do you know it really doesn't need to be? Um, here's the playout for six radio stations, six, that I saw when I was in Hong Kong a couple of years ago. There's the playout systems right there. Um, I like the way that they've got a different playout system for every single radio station here. Um, the one closest to us is the Golden Oldies Channel, currently playing Paul McCartney and Wings, which is nice. Um, in Australia, they, they've used multi-platform to produce new sponsorship opportunities, like a radio station specifically for a pharmacy chain or a short-term sponsored radio station tying in to a national tour from Pink. They've experimented with new formats like Chill Out, like unsigned music, and even a radio station that only played vinyl. It lasted for three days, run by the ABC, and one of the songs actually stuck, which I'm a particular fan of. Um, in the UK, Team Rock uh, launches uh, next month. They've just announced the first presenter for that, Nikki Horn, who's doing the evening show. And they're promising a radio station that's wholly sponsored by, um, that's wholly um, paid for by sponsorship and promotions. It will carry no spot ads at all. But multi platform also means better targeting as well. When you tune in online, you can do some really clever stuff. Taking a radio station's output, and tailoring the ads for where that person is tuning in. So if you're listening in Dublin, you get different ads than if you're listening in the UK or in Australia as well. The clever stuff comes when you target those ads more closely. Because you can automatically target where you are and how you've tuned in. But if you encourage registration, then the world is your oyster. You can begin to target with all manner of things. And this is brand new technology that's just come in in the US, um, <coughs> uh, coming to Europe soon. It can watch what you are doing online and give you even better targeted advertising. Imagine if you have somebody sitting in Cork, booking a hotel in New York, and on your radio station uh, comes an ad for Aer Lingus telling you how cheap it would be to fly with Aer Lingus to New York rather than with anybody else. Some radio stations have used this technology to charge a premium for the targeted ads instead and give the audience better advertising 
and give the audience more music. Multi-platform also works better for the audience and you. Um, this is how we used to tune into the radio. Not the world's most uh, easy user interface. Um, this is how some people want us to tune in now on multi-platform radio. Again, not the world's most easy interface. Where's Cork's Red FM on, on there? I haven't the faintest idea. On the internet, particularly, online radio has been a really confusing mess of Windows Media Player and Real Player and volume controls and some without volume controls and players that all look different and work differently. So in some countries, we've done something about it. The UK radio player and a soon-to-be-launched equivalent in Norway, replaces all of those horrid players with one easy-to-use player. So whatever radio station website you visit, when you listen live, you get one simple player with consistent controls, a clear and obvious search system, presets and ample space for radio stations to earn more revenue. Making things really easy really works for the audience. In Radio Player's first full year, Internet radio listening increased by 37%, and that figure is now, I believe, 45% up. And if we can do this for radio delivered online, we can do the same for the radio as well. This is a concept hybrid radio from Radio Player, showing how we might make multi-platform radio better in the future. You tune in by station name or station logo. You can see what's playing as you're tuning around. You don't know or care whether it's coming over FM, whether it's coming over DAB, or whether it's coming on online. The radio works that bit out for you. And when you do tune in, you get nice color information telling you what's on, what's playing, and yes, full color visual adverts as well, on your radio, even on an FM station. So in summary, radio is already going multi-platform. So what are you doing to capitalize on that? Now's the time to expand your brand and the choice you give your audience and your advertisers. Look into online targeting of your ads and, and unlock new revenues that you didn't have before. And work together with your competitors and your colleagues throughout the rest of the radio industry to make the radio user experience better for everybody. Because I think if you grasp the opportunities that multi-platform has to offer you, you'll find that multi-platform is good for you and your business. And I'll drink to that. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks very much, James. Thank you.